Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie and If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. So today is Black Friday. I believe it's going to be Black Friday by the time this video goes up. I don't typically have a big 50% off Black Friday sale every year. So yes, you heard that correctly. 5-0-50%. All of the products that I'll be using in this video will be linked in the description box. Not to worry, I will be including links to everything. I have been dying to do a video like this for months. I'm just now getting the chance to actually sit down and do it because I already have so much elf stuff but then funny enough I go on the website and I'm like wow there's actually a lot of stuff that I do not have I'm gonna be demonstrating today a lot of new products and old products that I really really like and so without further ado if you want to see how we got this look let's go ahead and get started oh man I got a lot of new stuff you guys would not believe what my bedroom floor looks like right now it is a huge elf mountain in the corner over there. Here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna start off by using the Poreless Face Primer. And um, your girl does have some pores. So hopefully this will help blur the skin out. Ooh, it feels really nice. Ooh, it feels so good. It smells pretty good too. I'm gonna take this Soft Luminous Powder. It looks really nice and buttery. Oh girl! I'm going to powder my face with this. Now this is going to look intense. It's gonna look ashy, guys. Bear with me, okay? This is what your girl's gotta do to be shine free, okay? This creates a nice barrier for the foundation and the primer. Oh my God, it feels so soft. So after we've achieved this goblin chic look, I'm gonna take my flawless foundation. This has SPF 15 and my sister swear by this. I'm using the shade Coco. So today I'm gonna be giving this a shot. I wonder what the coverage is like. It feels nice and thick, girl. It's like gel comes out really thick. And I'm applying this with my powder brush. This is again for powder, but I like, ooh, it's, ooh, she's thick. It's very thick, wow. I like the coverage. I like how it's looking so far. That is a great match, you guys. I actually really like this. I've been holding out on this foundation for this video. Now that I'm trying it, how you doing? And we gotta see if this is gonna last all day, but so far, I like the way this looks. I might have to go out tonight. I like the way the rest of this look turns out. Hmm, I think this is probably my color. As much as I've been like anti-concealer contour palette, because in my head, you're never gonna use all of these colors, but I think four is the perfect amount because you could actually use and get use out of all four of these colors. I don't mean like a six color, those big sets, like nobody needs that, but I actually like the idea of this. This is very creamy and very oily. I'm going to switch and go to my contour palette and I'm gonna use the darkest shade. There's no name on this brush, but I'm pretty sure this is the sculpt, the face sculpting brush. I would like it to be a little bit deeper, but at least it does read as darker on my skin tone. This next product I'm so excited about. It was actually my girl, Laura Lee, who got me excited. It's these cute little spongies. It actually comes in a trio. It comes with the big one, the mama bear, the um, stepchild, then you get the newborn baby. So the mini one, I think for now I'm gonna skip on. I think I'm going to use, right now, the big one. It's bl oh, it's blooming, nice. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> the thing that usually stands out about most sponges is they always take the product off and it's so annoying but this is not doing that at all so let's change over switch to the smaller one okay so i am getting a little creasage still from the concealer normally you know you pat 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 it dries down just enough for you to put the powder you know lay the powder and then keep it from creasing but i'm getting a little slippage but it's okay it's okay i don't have a ton of lines under my eyes so we'll take care of that with powder later you know elf has a color correcting stick i forgot to use it but look at this that's a good rich shade of orange that's not too light and not too ashy i've been sleeping apparently i've never seen this product all right so far the face is sitting okay but we need to set it with powder so I'm gonna go back to that translucent powder and I'm hoping it doesn't fail me because this is the make or break for me okay got a little melanin all right so translucent is not always as translucent as you might think you know and that camera flash will show you real quick how translucent your translucent is you feel me 
You feel me? I'm gonna start off with a teensy bit and just delicately pat this into the powder. And I also need to set that five head area because she looking shiny. So next I'm going to take this eyebrow pencil. It's just called the brow pencil. I'm using the color natural brown, which they had something that was a little darker, but I swatched it and it seems like a pretty decently dark brown. The pencil is a little on the soft side and I do wish that it was darker. If my brows weren't microbladed, I probably would not like this very much because it's a little soft. I like something that's a little waxier and hard where I have to almost push it into my skin. I think like most people, I'm just really particular with brows. Like brows are just so sacred for most of us. And when we like something, we like it. And we're rarely opt to like something that feels, looks, or performs differently, if that makes sense. I'm gonna take this dual-sided, this is a brow gel. It's got like an actual side with color. Actually, I think I'll use a little bit of that. Oh yeah, I actually like that. It kind of helped clean them up a little bit. Someone's at my zoo, y'all, I'll be right back. I'm happy now because my bundles is here. <laughs> I'm gonna use a light layer of concealer on my eyelids as shadow base. I'm gonna dry that down with the translucent powder. Using the matte for matte palette, I'm gonna take this dark smoky gray color. Actually, just kidding. I'm gonna use this flesh tone color from the palette first. This is kind of like a dark, um, it's like my skin tone, but it's a little more of like a reddish brown. And I'm blending her. I am blending that into my crease area. I'm gonna be laying this down as my transition color first. You know what, I just messed, I just realized I messed up. I put my brush in this darker brown color on this eye. <laughs> The reddish brown shade on this eye so what you do whenever you make a mistake on one eye you have to do the same mistake on the other so I'm gonna go in with the dark brown now and deepen and darken and zap it and zoo it and I'm also blending that reddish brown color on the other side because they gotta match they gotta match now all right that blended out really nicely next I'm gonna take this dark gray color and I'm gonna be blending that in the tighter areas, my outer V, using my blending eye brush, which is slightly more tapered and pointy. So first I'm laying the color on my patting it, and then in circles I'm dragging that into, shouldn't say dragging, dragging is a very dramatic word. But I'm basically, yeah, just patting and then blending. This is the easiest way to work with really dark smoky colors. You just work from lightest to dark, you know? You work your way up. I'm going back in with my crease colors again and blending, blending, blending. Making sure everything just doesn't get lost in the sauce. You feel me? You feel me. Next, I'm gonna take this Smudge Pot Liner in the color Hit the Town. It is a smoky silver gray and I'm going to be applying that onto my eyelid as my lid color. Oh, and you know what I like about this color? This actually doesn't look too icy silver on your eyes at all. It actually looks like a dark, smoky blue when I put it on. That's a sexy color. It almost looks like a, a denim, like a sexy dark denim. Now that that is laid, I'm going to take these beautiful baked eyeshadows. They, um, I think this is called the Smoke Palette and they're all shimmers, all smoky shimmers. So I think, what am I feeling like? What am I feeling like? I really like this silver, but I also really like this dark black. So I think I'm gonna use a combination of both of them. I'm also going to use that with a little bit of my makeup lock and seal. This is supposed to be kind of like an enhancer. You put actually a couple drops into this little dish that it comes with. And then it also comes with a, no, just kidding. This is a, just the blending brush. But you're supposed to like mix that with the shadows to like get them to pop more, pow. So I'm just using a drop of that mixed in with the, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me zoom in, girl. Let me go look, let me get a closer look. That really helped. It like almost kind of turns 
the dry shadow into a nice cream shadow. That's pretty. But now on top of that, I'm just gonna use a little bit of that silver just to intensify her. When in doubt, always just grab some baked shadows. Okay, now I'm just gonna around the shadow, just blend it just a little bit. Just so it looks clean, look clean. Ooh, I'm feeling this look so far. Oh God, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take the smoky gray along my bottom lash line and blend, 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 blend. Getting a little creasage with that concealer, so what I'ma do is I'm gonna actually kinda smoke it out a little heavily than normal on the bottom lash line to kinda disguise it. It's gonna be smoky grunge. It's gonna be grunge, okay? So crease, get through with the bag, okay? So I did buy lashes with all intents of wearing them for this tutorial, but then when I got them, I just noticed the one thing that I was hoping I would notice, but these are those types of lashes where the band is really thin, and because my lashes are so naturally thick, they just don't look right on me. What ends up happening is I put them on and they're on my on my forehead, basically, because I just need a heavy duty lash. I'm gonna next use this finishing powder. I use the shade Dark Deep, and I'm actually gonna use the same brush that we use for the foundation and just stipple that into my skin. It's time to bronze. It's time to bronze. Well, bronze. Now I'm gonna take this bronze violet palette. Um, this is a pretty cool color. Definitely not trying to mess with that pink today. Not this is not my kind of party. But I am gonna take this bronzer. It is just darker than my complexion. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but I'm just gonna use that to kind of warm up the face a little bit. And then for my actual blush blush, I'm gonna take this blush matte blush duo in the color Rosy Flush. It's actually not rosy at all. This one looks more like a peachy color, which I feel will be perfect from this look. Love Elf's blushes. I've not tried this one yet. I only have the quad, but this is, oh my God, this is pretty. I got a little carried away though, my bad, my bad, my bad. And I won't be highlighting today because I do feel like it will take away from the look. And, um, oh, I forgot about a mascara, duh. I'm using the Mineral Infused Mascara. This is also the mascara I used for my top lashes when I put my falsies on. I'm loving the look so far, but the topper of it all and the main attraction is the dark black lipstick. Elf's lipsticks are really bomb, very pigmented, super creamy. For those of you guys that are probably gonna say, well, I would have done a nude or I would have done, you are more than welcome to do that. A dark lip and a dark eye actually look very good together. And this is black, girl. Like blackity black, black. It swashed beautifully and I really wanted to wear it. So here we are. Oh my God, that pigment. And they smell really good. I'm a happy girl today. Ooh. Ooh. And that is the final look. That brings us to the end. So what did you think? Is this a lot? I know it's a lot. It's okay, you don't have to do a black lip. I'm cool with it. But if you like this tutorial, perhaps you'll like some others. This is a makeup tutorial using some of Kylie Cosmetics holiday collection stuff, so take a look at that. This tutorial here is a bronze bombshell makeup look. Hopefully you enjoy both and subscribe when you're out if you're not already, and hopefully I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!